Hi friends, this is Jason and here's another Minecraft vlog that we're going to share today. So here we're at, at my own place and I'm doing my project right now, just renovating my store. So if you guys haven't been up to date with our Minecraft, uh, we build our homes here and I started this free range chicken storm just to supply students with free range chicken if they so like. So here I am renovating away and uh, yeah, look, um, there's a zombie in my store. Um, yeah, so once in a while there'll be monsters that happen, usually at night, and then it's a nuisance because I have to wait for them or I have to kind of get rid of them myself during the day. Kind of reminds me of, if you know the Bible story of Nehemiah, how he built the wall and trying to build something and trying to deal with people trying to stop him. I kind of feel like that's the same way. I'm trying to build something and there's like monsters in the way. I, I think there's a skeleton around here. Yep, there he is. So yeah. So yeah, monsters, they, they don't like the daytime, except for that green creeper thing on the side. I don't know what it's doing, but anyways, that skeleton's gonna slowly burn away so I can focus on building again. So Youth Online, we've been meeting up on Backyard, and there's a lot of cool games on there, like figure drawing, where we get to draw on our own screens, video screens, and other people have to guess. Other than that, we've been sharing how our week's been doing and also talking about uh, the questions I've been posting up on social media. On social media, I've been posting up questions in connection to our Sunday message. And yeah, those questions are for you guys also if something to talk about within your friends and family. So along with that on Minecraft, uh, people have been building their houses. We're also doing obstacle courses. So sometime soon, we're going to have a recording with us doing the obstacle course and also showing off our homes. Uh, if you saw there, there was Danny's house. He was renovating it recently, so I believe he will be up next for that. So yeah. So the questions that I've been posting up on social media, uh, one of them asks about belongingness. So in your group of friends, your family, or at church, what makes you feel like you belong? And personally for myself, I feel like I belong to a group when people care for me, not just at my best, but also at my worst. It's hard to find that anywhere because honestly, we're all human. And it's difficult to interact with people when they're at their worst. And speaking about worst, uh, I'm new at Minecraft, so I'm trying to build this roof here and I don't think it's the correct way. Yeah, I just fell down and hurt myself. And there's scaffolding that you can use, but I'm not too familiar with that. So I'm just kind of, you know, slowly putting roof top blocks on top without falling down. Anyways, yeah, so. When I feel belong is when people can, you know, take me in not just at my best, but also at my worst. And, you know, everyone, people aren't perfect. But I know something is that God can. He, he can take us at our worst. He interacts with me when I'm at my worst. And ultimately, this whole Jesus Christ story is the Son of God becoming human to interact with us, to show us that it's not about what we do to earn His love, but what He has done to reach out to us at our worst. So I feel this belongingness in God's presence that I can come to Him as I am. And from there I find healing, guidance, and maturity so I can continue to grow. So I like how on one of our Sunday messages, Brad points out Jesus' baptism as an example of God's love for us. God loved Jesus, not just for what He did, but for who He is. Jesus didn't start any of His public miracles and healing stuff yet. But God just loved Jesus for who he is, and Jesus accepted that. And I thought that was just a beautiful example of how uh, Jesus was baptized. God said, this is my beloved son. Jesus didn't even do anything. And God said, hey, I love you. And I believe that's such a great example of, hey, we don't need to do anything to accept God's love. He just loves us. And my encouragement for you is this, is when you feel like you are at your worst, remember, God still loves you. And although we're not perfect, it's a good reminder for our source of empathy. Because when we are loved at our worst, it fuels us to love others when they're at their worst. Well, that's it for today's vlog. And yeah, stay tuned as I continue to keep you updated on what we've been doing at Youth Online and also on Minecraft. So you can find out more on our website. We've been meeting up on uh, Backyard on Thursday evenings. Check out our schedule on our website. And also feel free to reach out to us if you want to get involved in what we're doing in this Minecraft realm. And that is it. Alright, so you guys take care and keep in touch.